shall we look at your video or is there anything else before that in your mind no sir at, at present not okay. nothing nothing yes. so what i um, understood from this video is mm -hmm. we had a very effective session with um, this person mm -hmm. who was having guilt feelings yes related to seeing seeing her grandmother mm -hmm. and uh, then later on she when her mother was not well and she went and saw so that she may not repeat what happened with the grandmother right. and then subsequently how that was affecting her in different ways <clears throat> and uh, you helped her using the hdfr uh model yes correct and uh, so the very um, i thought it was really nice very nicely done and uh, and of course the most important is the feedback she herself gave yes and that is the most important thing now for self Correct. self report yes and uh, if, if, if when did you do this uh during the lockdown period sir ah right 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 at that particular time yeah 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 so valuable to be able to do it that way yes and now um, uh, this is a record available is it yes or you just, it, it's in public domain it's in public domain sir yes i have asked her also that uh, is it okay if i if i share this particular part of our conversation on uh, in the public domain so she agreed on it right right mm -hmm. very good so now um, what kind of feedback are you uh, wishing me to give uh, like how can i improve uh, in in a uh, in the sense in approaching the client or giving some other examples analogy or so acha acha uh -huh. you you see um, to start with yes what i was uh, very impressed was that um, you provided her very good psycho education yes by examples of like color of the dress mm -hmm. doesn't define the person no yes and uh, uh then you helped her to see how what changed was her perception yes correct right so that the illustration was very apt and uh, i thought that was very good uh -huh. and uh, you also explained to her the whole idea of uh, scaling yes and uh, she could experience that change correct and so that that was very good and uh, i also liked the locus of control aspect that you helped her mm -hmm. what is within her control and what is out of her control yes and uh, you also helped her to see how she prioritizes things mm -hmm. uh then um also the whole connection between thinking and feelings yes and uh, finally this unconditional acceptance of self others and the situation mm -hmm. 
the, these are some of the things I noticed as being extremely nice and good. Oh. Also, at the at um, three minutes and twenty two seconds, mm -hmm. you ask some questions through which uh, through probing you did that. Yes. Is it this? Is it that? Is it a fact? Helping her to see uh, separate feelings from facts. Mm -hmm. And that helped her to become more objective. And then it, it had many other benefits for her. Right. And uh, you, you did the similar um, videos on related topics also, it looks like. Yes. You said that tomorrow we will do this, that, like that. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Actually, so uh, it, it was a part uh, of a three-day REBT webinar uh -huh. in online board. So on that particular second day, she asked uh, her concern. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Every day, how much time? Two hours. Yeah, yeah. So you had a six hour program. Six hour program of, of basics of RBT. Yes. This was one half an hour. Right. Right, right, right. Very nice. Now, uh, did you get any feeling of when you watched uh, the presentation afterwards? Mm -hmm. Did you feel at any point anything you could have done differently? Uh, like preparing her for upcoming uh, means if, if uh, same kind of experience if she may have in future uh -huh. how how she should face uh -huh. if that particular point I could have been uh, or I was able to elaborate it more uh -huh. then I think it would help her a lot Achha, achha. Uh, however, uh, you had limit. I mean, you had half an hour only, no, for this yes. one. Yes, yes. That's why it was not possible. Correct. Uh, and uh, so, uh, did she come back, or would you have? A, did you do that later? She said that uh, it means that particular, you know, conversation itself. Yes. Huh. So that particular means conversation itself helped her a lot. So when she didn't approach, uh -huh. uh -huh. she is in touch with me, however. Yes. Yes. Huh. Can I see you? Keeping in touch with, uh, did she keep in touch? Yes, yes, yes. Achha, achha, achha. So uh, you have already taken care of that aspect. Mm -hmm. Correct? So Correct. that is good. That's good. Then anything else that occurred to you about any aspect? Not such. Achha. Mm -hmm. So if one were to and look at this from the point of view of a half an hour session, mm -hmm. I think nothing more could be done than this. Okay. You know, it's all uh -huh. real uh -huh. But if you want to uh, explore other things for a future different kind of a session or something like that, mm -hmm. then uh, you can always look at um, uh, other possibilities as a as a scholar, 
Uh-huh. See, for example, at uh, one point you talked about the relationship between thought and feeling. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. So what is the uh, current position in the research? Uh, does REBT uh, say that uh, thought precedes feeling? Mm. Am I right? Yes. Thoughts yes. and based on that thought, some feelings come. Correct. Now, what does current research say on that? Uh, what are you, are you familiar with anything that says anything different than that? Uh, according to Aribiti group itself, sometimes it may happen that feelings may come first. Yeah. In very rare occasions. Like, yes. For example, if, if we heard the news like XYZ uh, or any one of our close family member uh, is it's suffering from some illness or, or maybe about death, then eventually we, go, uh, we get those particular goosebumps first and then we start yes. thinking. Yes. But otherwise, generally, thinking comes first and then feelings. Achcha. Huh. So, um, now, um, some research in the West hmm. is pointing to that uh, perhaps uh, there, 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 you know, not only rare, but maybe in some instances more common mm -hmm. that feelings can also later on generate thoughts. Okay. Uh -huh. So, so uh, what some therapists are doing is mm -hmm. keeping open that possibility and uh, uh, helping people with that. Mm -hmm. So, if such a situation arises, um, they, are, they are using <clears throat> a more working with the subconscious, okay. including use of hypnosis uh -huh. and visualization yes. uh, to help people feel better and then the thoughts were changing. Right. But this is only a, a hypothetical thing that mm. I am telling you. In, in this one itself, uh, I think you have handled her very well. Okay. Then, um, you know, the other thing we always look for is body language. Ah. You see, uh, did you observe yourself? Later on, uh, during the conversation, ah, late, uh, when you reviewed the video, huh. did you notice anything? Uh, the flow of the conversation or that particular hmm. fluency you are saying, sir? No, I'm talking about body language. Body language, not as such. Uh -huh. So, you know, sometimes I benefit when I do a, a video, uh -huh. when I'm uh, uh, reviewing video, Yes. what I uh, do is take a look at my, my face, my uh, nodding, my mm. uh, posture and any uh, signals I give. For example, you, 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 I notice that you would raise your finger, uh -huh. left finger or right finger, and hold it up at yes. certain times. Did you notice that? Yes, yes, yes. Now, I don't find, I mean, find anything wrong with it, but just mm -hmm. to be aware of it. Okay. 
um, and and watch for how this pay, this client nothing there was no negative impact on it mm -hmm. but just imagine if a person had a very rough relationship with the authority figure correct and somebody is putting the finger like that Mm -hmm. You know, what might the perception be is another uh, sort of a thing I ask myself. Correct. It no, may nothing for this, but any for future reference. Sure, sir. Watching the body language. Your tone was good. She was able to hear clearly. And you, you were very patient. You were listening. And then you are challenging also mm -hmm. to think through. And that was very good. I mean, that's one of the strengths of uh, REBT, no? Yes. Challenging sir. people. Ah, and even now, uh, uh, Egan also uh, brings these uh, self-limiting beliefs and all those things in, in, uh, in the um, uh, confrontation, mm -hmm. self-limiting beliefs, mindsets at that skill level. Right. So they, they seemed quite good and nice. And uh, you re relieved her of, um, you know, a lot of uh, tension that she mm -hmm. was going through. And uh, then... Um, You, I, I noticed that uh, you, you had a very holistic approach where you said it'll help you in your relationships, in your coping with things, as well as in your devotion, you yeah. told, no? That is so good, I thought. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, because sometimes these Western psychologists do not want to bring spirituality uh -huh. because they're hung up on the biopsychosocial theory. All right. But, uh, you know, Seligman and others also make it biopsychosocial spiritual. Mm -hmm. So you are mentioning that was good. Oh. Because uh, what I have understood even in Maharashtra and other places, you know, how devoted people are. Yes. Especially women. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, so uh, it, it gives them comfort, uh, you know, validation and uh, uh, strength also. Yes. To face their difficulties. No, our our elders and our ancestors, they looked up to spirituality to face life's problems, accept okay. life's uh, unchangeable realities. Mm -hmm. Is it not? Yes. Mm. So I, I thought that very nicely came out. I, I liked it quite okay. a bit. Uh -huh. And uh, then um, uh, I'm I'm looking at my notes that I took uh, during when I was watching, uh -huh. and uh, I think within that time you did everything that was appropriate, necessary. Now one of the things about uh, REBT and uh -huh. CBT. As you know yourself better than me, they one of the criticisms people have about uh, this thing is that uh, they mm, don't give enough emphasis to empathy. Ah. It's too much practical uh, for some ah. people. Yes, and to... to uh, much confrontative, too much 
that sort of a thing okay. and empathy gets missed mm -hmm. is what is it, isn't it it's what true, they sir. say uh, um so <clears throat> So whenever I use CBT or REBT, what I try to do is make sure that I have given enough empathy along the way. Correct. And, uh, you know, empathy can be given non-verbally, empathy can be given verbally. Right. So the question I ask myself is, I personally didn't think you needed to do more, but the question I ask myself is uh, <clears throat> how to increase my vocabulary of empathy, of ah. feelings. Right. And um, state them to the client. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I'm making sense or not. Surely, sir, of course. Hmm? Definitely. Because uh, uh -huh. even, uh, in, a, in a book, I have referred that two components of empathy are, are uh, there. Perceiving the feelings of client and communicating the same. Uh -huh. You must be able to perceive and you must be able to communicate the same also. So then Correct. only client will be able to understand that, yes, means this person is actually listening to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so sometimes uh, then uh, that is the day I ask myself, where could I have added a little empathy without changing anything else? Right. And uh, uh, so congratulations on and a great job done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm. And thank you for sharing that. You have done more videos, sir, similar? Uh, some of them are uh, in, in Marathi language because the uh, client was more comfortable in, in Marathi. That's why. Uh -huh. But this was the uh, English one. In English, yes. Use this. Mm -hmm. So wonderful, wonderful, really great. Thank you, sir. So happy to hear this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is available on YouTube, huh? Yes, sir. It is available. Okay. So um, is it okay if I mention to others to listen to it? Yes, sir. Please. Please, sir. Okay, okay. I'll do that. I I will do that and uh, let people benefit. Mm 